I am going to tell you regarding Alice for Windows. As you know, this is basically a library management software and I think you practice also at regarding Alice for Windows in your computer lab. But before I take up Alice for Windows, I would like to tell you something background information. Like what library automation is and how library auto automation being done. First of all, I would like to tell you that live brief I am going to tell you background information. Library automation is basically basically performing routine library activities routine library activities with the help of library automation software package with the help of library automation software package regarding library automation software package I would like to tell you that these are basically application programs especially designed keeping in view the requirements of a library. For example, as you know that in libraries certain functions are there. Acquisition, then cataloging, then circulation, then serious control management, these are basically housekeeping operations which are being done in a library. However, along with these modules, a library automation software package also has a particular module regarding the searching which is known as online public access catalog my dear students taking uh, keep in your mind that i am going to take up alice for windows and basically i am discussing background information so Library automation software packages are basically of two types. Library automation software packages, as I told you just now, are of two types. First are proprietary. Proprietary. Library automation software package. You can note down also, this information is quite relevant. Proprietary library automation software packages. I would also like to tell you that uh, in some of the books, as well as, as well as in some of the articles, instead of automation, you may come across the word library management software packages. Both are 
being used by different authors. Now, proprietary library automation software packages, then open source. library automation software packages I would like to tell you the basic difference between these two items between these two software packages proprietary library automation software package means that some commercial firm has developed and designed it for commercial motives they want to earn some profit out of it and open source library automation software package means it is open to all anybody can download open source library automation software packages and can start using in their libraries here code is known here code is unknown being kept secret by the firms who designed and developed these kind of library automation software packages. If the code is known to us, we can meddle, we can interfere in the affairs of the library automation software packages, which is of course not desirable by the proprietors. Some of the examples I am going to mention here in both these categories you are aware have you heard about lipsis yes, yes. yes. it should be speak also lipsis then alice four windows it is written like this afw quite popular as per its acronym then Virtua, Virtua software developed by VTLS company. VTLS is a firm with its headquarter at Blacksburg in America. Then uh, on the other hand, you have some open source library automation software packages also. For example, Goha. Genlift, here I would like to tell you that uh, when we ask to mention the names of open source software, people also mention Green Store. But I am telling you here, Green Store though is an open source software, but that software is meant for digital library. That is not a library automation software. Two very well, well known open source library automation software packages which are widely used, which are widely used all over the, not all over India, but also all over the world, particularly Koha. Koha is quite popular all over the world as far as open source library automation software package is concerned. Then in Indian scenario, Lipsys is most used software all over the country. Some of the installations are of Lipsys are done abroad also. Say for instance, Holland University is using Lipsys software. Then uh, one site in Costa Rica, they are also using Lipsys. 
but uh, in Indian Indian scenario, as I told you just now, well-known universities, prominent institutes like IITs, IIMs, then many other institute of prominence, they are using Lipsis. Our own library, Marana Azad library, is also using Lipsis. Here I would like to tell you something very interesting thing. Lipsis 7 is used in our Maulana Azad library, which is the uh, most updated version, latest version, Lipsis 7, that has been installed when Sir was in charge of librarian, library, our chairman sir. He was uh, in charge of Maranazar library for some time. So that time the software has been upgraded. Earlier we were using Lipsis 4. Now it has been installed, upgraded and now we are using Lipsis 7. After Lipsis, Alice 4 Windows is most widely used software in our country. If you compare and here I would also uh, like to tell you something very interesting. All over the world, across the world, Alice for Windows is most widely used software. They have more than 20,000 installations all over the world. They have a very strong presence in Europe. Some of the premier universities, some of the premier institutes of world, they are using Alice for Windows. Way back in 2005, we have uh, purchased licensed copy of Alice for Windows. This is not a demo. Again, I am telling you, my dear students, that whatever software you are using, Whatever software you are using in our computer lab, we all we are having licensed cop copies for all these software. These are not demo version. Demo version basically have been supplied by the supplier because we have bought a licensed copy. Not only this, continuously we are paying AMC. Do you know what is AMC? Yeah. Please tell us. Annual Please tell us. Uh, yes, yes. Annual maintenance charges. Continuously we are paying. Periodically we are paying. As and when there is a quotation from invoice from Alice for Windows, immediately we make payment so that latest upgrades, whatever are available in Alice for Windows, we continue to get it. We continue to receive. Then the third software, Virtua, which is a very powerful software. However, this software could not gain popularity outside America. The reason I am going to tell you, Virtua is basically only soft software, only library automation software where or in which software RDMS Oracle is must. What does it mean? It means that in order to run Virtua software on your server, you need to procure RDMS, RDBMS Oracle. Relational Database Management System Oracle. Oracle is quite, quite costly. And it is because of this reason, Virtua could not gain or capture the market, particularly in developing nations. However, American society is quite conscious regarding the safety of data and safety is of the data is most or perfect in virtual because they have 
Oracle as a backend. So they are using American libraries, some of the prominent libraries. I am going to tell you that Supreme Court of USA, they are using this software virtually. Then uh, there are other software also, which are uh, proprietary library organization software packages, like Librarian, Library Management, TLMS, OPEC, Infosys. But since our topic is Alice for Windows, I am not going to give a detailed account of all those software. Here, Koa and Jellip. Jellip, regarding the Jellip, I would like to tell you that earlier it was a proprietary item. And if my memory serves me well, then uh, BHU was using earlier Jellip. They bought, they purchased the software. Later on, this software was made open source. But in comparison to Jellip, Koha is also, Koha is widely used. It gained more popularity among the, among all the open source library automation software. Please tell us, tell me students, you must have visited yes. FRI. Yes, yes, sir. Sir. So, yes, they are using Koha. Yes, they are using Koha. I do not know whether you have met uh, Amrinder Singh or not. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, he is quite, uh, you see, old person there in that library. So, way back when, uh, in 1996, 20 years back, I went uh, from Lipsis site twice or thrice. Since then, he has been working. Then when I, I went uh, before last year regarding that educational tour, that time uh, I asked him that why you have shifted, why you have shift, shifted from Lipsis to Koha. He lamented that uh, software Lipsis is no doubt very good, but uh, we are, uh, we were a little bit concerned regarding after sales services. And this is a common complaint regarding all proprietary library automation software packages. Now things have been improved because now uh, people are, you see, these software companies are providing online services also. Otherwise, you see, their, their uh, after sales services were very poor. Not very poor, but still you can say poor. So they have shifted to Koha. Now, I am coming to Alice for Windows now. Alice for Windows as I told you just now. It's an Australian product. Alice for Windows. is a library management software. Now I am using the word library management. As I told you just now, you would come across both the terminology. Library automation software package as well as library management software package. Alice for Windows is a library management software software package which has been designed which has been designed and developed in Australia In Australia, there is a city, very famous city, Brisbane. Yes. Softly, softly, basically, Alice for Windows has been designed by a company 
which is known as soft link. Yes. The company which designed Alice for Windows. Now I am writing its acronym AFW. The company which designed AFW is known as Softlink. Softlink. <coughs> Name of the parent company is Softlink and they have many regional offices. How many con continents we have? In all the continents, they have one office. They have an office. Softlink Asia is taking care of Asia region. Softlink International, this is basically Softlink International, is headquarter, which is based there in Brisbane. Then Softlink America, office is in, is in Denver, Colorado. Likewise, Softlink Europe, take, taking care of all the installation which are being done there in, in Europe. This way, they have office in each con continent. The main modules of here before writing about modules, I am going to tell you regarding the platform, regarding the operating system, as you can make this is Alice for Windows. Alice for Windows. Here Windows means basically it indicates the operating system. Platform. What does it mean? It means that Alice can be installed only on Windows. using Windows environment. If you are going to install it on Unix, no. It is not possible. If you are going to install on Linux, it is not possible. No, not at all. It is because of this reason that it is exclusively meant for Windows environment. Alice for Windows is known as the software's full name. Again, a very interesting story. Way back in 1999, Bill Gates, you must all be familiar with the name of Bill Gates, yes. Yes, CEO of Microsoft Corporation. He, he basically gave a special, a special award to this software that is known as Microsoft Award for Alice for Windows. That award has been given in America and Bob Dune, CEO of Softlink International went there to receive that particular award. It is basically Microsoft certified solution provider regarding the library automation software packages. Now, what I basically was telling you regarding uh, Alice for Windows, it is operational on all the versions, all the versions of Windows, be it Windows. X, Windows 95, Windows 97, Windows 98, Windows 2000, Windows 7, Windows 8, 
and the current version is ten. yes ten etc i have not written some of the platform like windows nt it is common and obvious that uh, when you are using when you have installed windows nt on the server side you can easily install alice for windows on there <coughs> it is perfectly compatible with any windows operate win windows operating system version any version of windows operating system there have been many development in alice for windows particularly in the last 5 or 7 years before taking up those developments i am going to write basic modules of alice for windows basic modules first of all i would like to tell you that uh, this software is available fw is available in single user environment as well as multi user environment multi user environment multi user environment sorry but my students i would like to tell you nowadays we are living in a network environment this world where we are living is known as wired world so nobody is using nowadays single user environment no one no multi user environment because of its obvious benefits people are going for multi user environment difference i am going to tell you in single user environment <coughs> alice for windows or software will be installed only on one system one computer what does it mean only one person will be allowed to work at a time because system because software has been installed on one system and that machine is not networked it means that features are available or software is available only on a stand alone machine single user environment means a stand alone computer one computer with alice for windows multi user environment means networked environment network environment Network What does it mean the actual software will be installed actual software will be installed on a server Server is nothing other than high configured computer Server means computer only so software will be installed alice for windows will be installed on the server and all the computers which are basically known as clients clients these will be connected to server thus we are say we are saying that it works in client server environment i would also like to tell you that you can attach 
any number of terminals to the server any number however nowadays when you are going to buy the software they will ask you that how many user license copy do you require they have a different slabs five user copy what does it mean means cost will be less in comparison to 10 user copy then if you if you go for 15 user copy then definitely obviously the cost will be more in comparison to 10 user in this way you can attach any number of terminals to the server okay then uh, no yes again i would like to tell you something which is very important you need not to have any any software specific software as a back end support you do not require it like oracle if it is there then also okay if it is not there no not required at all same is true with with mysql or uh, sql server you know you need not require at all so uh, this was basically the software and hardware requirements regarding the uh, alice for windows now i am going to tell you certain salient feature of alice for windows but before discussing those features the main modules will be discussed main modules of alice for windows yes acquisition acquisition then management then circulation then periodical then inquiry this these are basically the main modules standard modules are only acquisition management and circulation along with the inquiry but if you add periodicals then it will basically become main modules of alice for windows here i would like to tell you that two specific terminology have been used by alice for windows which are not used by any other library or automation software package inquiry is basically what inquiry is open if you go and see ellipsis you will find terminology open so also is true regarding granthale regarding uh, librarian virtua suchika sanjay maitri these all are the names of library automation software packages and every software has used the terminology opac except alice for windows they are using inquiry you must have seen also because you are going there in lab so inquiry is used instead of opac management is used instead of cataloging what does it mean management is nothing other than cataloging yes and then inquiry is basically opaque for retrieval purposes for retrieval purposes. these are the main modules of alice for windows though they are having certain other modules also like interlibrary loan they have a full fledge module for this interlibrary loan 
then they have book high another module then they have web inquiry module separate from inquiry it's just like web op web inquiry module these are some of other modules which are available in Alice for Windows. <coughs> Now, that's it.